what's up this is rob from panther and welcome to a new episode of what else can you do with your logo and i gotta ask you that this is what else can you do with your logo uh this is a new effect a wavy kind of effect surf or uh, beach kind of style a summer kind of vibes going on in here so i'm gonna show you how to do these kind of things uh there are like two ways to do it so i gotta present you those okay First thing, let me do an artboard. Press the letter T or select the letter, you know, the T, the type tool is located right here. Click and type in whatever you want. I recommend you use some nice tall fonts. Uh, you can use like Oswald. Oswald bold. I'm gonna reduce the distance between the letters. Uh, I'm gonna press and hold Alt and press also the arrow, left arrow basically. With left and right arrow, you can do this. Also, you can modify it here if you click on the character. The bit distance between the letters basically here. You also can locate it manually. I'm gonna add some of the distance like this. Uh, okay. I gotta put this away, so I gotta ask this one as a reference. I'm gonna create a new copy. So basically you press and hold Alt and this is what, how you create the new copy. Gonna go to Object, Expand, click OK. Now you can see we can uh, ungroup these. We're gonna right click on Group and we can select these differently, you know, the letters. Okay, I'm gonna adjust this because as you can see here, I have uh, more of the distance. Uh, I'm gonna make this for a t-shirt for a merch. So basically, I need to make... Basically, this is why I want to want to make it more longer, you know? So this is a rectangle going on right here. What I want to do is... Okay, I'm gonna unite this in the Pathfinder. Click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. Usually, this option is not turned on. Okay, we have this right here. I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna select the rectangle tool. I'm gonna draw a line, something like this. Now I'm gonna create a new copy. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it, also press Shift so you drag it exactly in the right spot. And I'm gonna increase the thickness of this. It's around this. Okay. I'm gonna go to Object, click on Blend, Make. Now double click on this, the Blend tool, so you can multiply your, or, or your lines or decrease the number of the lines. I need to decrease it. Make sure you got some distance down here and as you can see the distance between the lines start to get bigger and bigger which is fine. I'm gonna click OK. 29 is pretty good for me, in my case. Okay, now go to Object, Expand, click OK. We're gonna go to the Object, Envelope, Distort, Make with Mesh. And as you can see it added uh, grids and basically you need to add more grids so we got the row the rows are not important the columns are important so i'm gonna go with 10 and we're gonna modify the columns and click ok now go and select the direct selection direct selection tool which is located right here and just select these anchor points as you can see now you, you got these anchor points going on and I'm just gonna drag one of those and there you go. This is how you distort all of these. I'm gonna make some distortions for all of these here. Make sure you don't distort it too much until they break. So for example, actually, yeah. So this one, if I pull it too much upwards here in the zone, it breaks. But as you can see, I can do a lot, a lot of distortions with these ones and let me see if uh, i can show you a better reference actually no also it's very important to have a bigger artboard so the bigger the artboard the bigger the vector file you are working with the less uh the store i mean you know if you're working on a really small vector then it's gonna get it, it's gonna have problems for example control m let me 
sorry, control N. What, which I use, I click on the web and I selected the web large, like, you know, this is the 1080p. And on that paper, you can do pretty big, uh, this kind of effect and pretty large. So the smaller it is, uh, you know, the easier it's going to break and it's going to be pretty weird. And the bigger the design, you know, the effect it's going to be applied. See that? It just broke on the left. I also want to pull this more on here so it won't be like too boring. Yeah, there you go. Or I can do it like this. See that? Now on the right, it just breaks in, right in there. So I need to. Okay. You also can pull only the, the last third or the last two. And it's gonna, but see the the problem is gonna get distorted in pretty weird ways. So don't go overboard. Just until you know it gets some distortions going on, but uh, don't distort it too much. Okay. Anyways, I gotta make it. Uh, I gotta leave it uh, fluid as I can. I gotta make a new copy of this too because I like that and I'm gonna need it later. So go to the object, go to expand, click OK. I'm gonna scale this down, press uh, Shift plus Alt to scale it down. And now I'm gonna pull back this. I'm gonna scale it up and I'm gonna apply this effect, of course. I'm gonna scale this, scale this up again more. Anyway, it doesn't even matter that much. The main idea is, so we got this, we got the text. Make sure you put this on the bottom of, uh, of uh, the layers. Uh, you're gonna right click on, arrange and send to back. And if I'm gonna, you know, recolor it, let's say on a gray or pink. And as you can see, it's back and these wavy lines are on the top. And we're gonna need to make another copy but I'm going to first I'm going to actually recolor this to white. This is going to be the background, of course. I'm gonna press Ctrl C and Ctrl F so it creates a new copy of the text. And I'm gonna right click on the text and arrange sand uh, to front. And as you can see, it's on the front. So we got like three layers going on. We got this text, we got the wavy lines, and we got another text of this on the bottom. Get it? Select them all and go to the transparency. If you don't have the transparency, go into Windows and select transparency right here, right here in the bottom. And click on make mask. And if you release it, you can see all the effects going on in the text. Of course, you're gonna need a lot, like a thicker uh, typeface but you can experiment with a lot more. I'm gonna decrease the size a little and they're gonna get you different results, of course. And I'm gonna distort it without pressing shift. I'm gonna create a new copy, um, select the rectangle tool, which is located right here, make a box and arrange send to back and as you can see on the black background this one is even more clear so yeah basically this is it this is how you make in these fancy wavy line kind of things so yeah thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new on the channel uh hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and thanks for watching have a good one bye bye